Well, also here on 7, a group from South Florida showing the true spirit of the season, delivering smiles to an island hit hard by a hurricane. Hundreds of kids benefiting from this gift lift. It comes months after Hurricane Maria raked the island. 7 News reporter Brandon Beyer is there. If anyone needs a party this holiday season, it's Puerto Rico. The island still recovering from Hurricane Maria. The Category 4 storm officially killing 64 people and wiping out power to the entire island. Some still don't have electricity, while others are just getting it back. To say the least, there hasn't been a lot to celebrate. We are lucky for, uh, for being alive, just for being alive. It's been rough. But thanks to a handful of people and some powerful sponsors, the holidays are happening despite the hurricane. And realize Christmas is coming and what are you gonna, how are you going to provide for your kids for that? Kids who've been through so much trauma to be denied the holidays is something that is unacceptable. It, it broke my heart to think about that. Chris Sloan and Laura Richardson started Operation Holiday Gift Lift soon after the storm. And the response has been overwhelming. Toys arrived from all over the world. Spirit Airlines and JetBlue flew them over for free. Then Sunday in Aguadilla, a giant party for anyone who needed it. And wouldn't you know, the whole town came out. The event scheduled to get started in Aguadilla about 11 o'clock in the morning, but folks were already here in the streets lining up as early as 6 a.m., the sun barely up. They thought maybe they'd get 2,500 or so people. Now they're thinking it's going to be closer to 5,000. They came for the toys, for the food, and to dance. But most of all, they came to remember what life is like on this beautiful island and to get these children smiling again, to remind them that even after such destruction, life goes on and people do care. To have our kids uh, be happy, enjoy uh, the life, enjoy uh, spending time with them. Because I wanted her to see something different because we've seen so, so many destruction and she didn't have nowhere to go. So we were like, let's go and, and have fun <laughs> at least. It's exactly what those who helped put the day together had hoped for. The response we've gotten here reminds you that the world is fundamentally a good place with good people. So it reassures us that we have good times ahead of us and the world is uh, still a wonderful place. And that Puerto Rico is still just as beautiful. Reporting from Aguadilla, Brandon Byer, 7 News. La Isla del Encanto, it sure is beautiful. Yeah.